A man in California led police on a wild goose chase after stealing a car from one dealership and fleeing to another before being arrested, reports ABC7 Los Angeles. Authorities were alerted to the unnamed suspect and a security guard caught him breaking into the Toyota of Hollywood dealership. Police responded to the call at 11.20 p.m. on September 14 and asked the suspect to exit the dealership. Seemingly oblivious to the commands, the man began rummaging around in a lockbox, desperately looking for keys to a getaway car. The suspect then entered a white Toyota Crown, using the high-riding sedan as a battering ram. First, the car was driven through a chain-link fence and then used to smash through the main metal gate. Footage captured by onlookers shows the premium sedan, retailing for a minimum of $39,950, repeatedly ramming into the red gate. It snaps open and nearly injures several pedestrians in the process. According to the Los Angeles Police Department, officers kept back and watched the suspect as they were unsure if additional suspects were in the dealership. Law enforcement expert Bruce Thomas told ABC7 Los Angeles what he thought of the chosen strategy. Obviously, you have enough officers on, the scene, you see one guy only inside, and, you're dealing with a location that has plenty of windows, which is something we find very advantageous to gain information on the suspect. He added, I think the strategy was not a strategy. I think they just wanted to wait and call him out like they did and hope he just walked out. Clearly, he's not going to do that. He's clearly not acting in the most appropriate way. So you have to have a plan, and the plan is to go in with less lethal tasers, and, stun bag guns. With the suspect behind the wheel of the crown, police gave pursuit and attempted to stop him several times, but with no success. The determined car thief drove through spike strips and successfully defended himself from pit maneuver attempts. Video footage shows the Toyota limping down the road with its front left wheel scraping across the tarmac. The suspect led police to another dealership, this time a high-end establishment in Beverly Hills selling Lamborghini and Bentley vehicles. Here, the suspect attempted to break into the showroom, throwing rocks at the glass. At around 2 a.m., officers detained the man and took him into custody. Thankfully, no one was injured but we are perplexed at how easy it is to steal a car from a secure dealership. It's quite a bizarre turn of events, but far from the craziest we've seen. In March, a 15-year-old stole a Corvette Z06 from a dealership and led police on a chase that ended in a crash.